<laughs> yeah, I'm literally in the woods. I had one glass of wine and I'm already tipsy. This is why I don't drink, y'all. Hey y'all, it's Thomasina. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, thanks for tuning in. Y'all, I really appreciate a life where I do not have to set an alarm. Today I used an alarm for the first time in a very long time and it was not great, but I'm thankful to be up this morning. Basically, I'm up early this morning so that I can get a quick self-tape in. I got a self-tape request last night, late last night, and it's due today. A really short turnaround time, so I'm gonna film it today and then get my day started. If you're not familiar with what a self-tape is in the modeling industry in the acting industry it's basically like a virtual audition so casting directors will send you the audition instructions of what they want you to do in the video you film it record it and then send it in so that's what i'm about to do it's a running casting so i'm just going to film myself running a couple of times put it all together and then send it out to the casting director and hope for the best i really wish i had like an actual track near me oh it's bright Right. So since I don't have an actual track near me, I'm just going to go to Prospect Park. So the casting that I'm doing this self-tape for, the client is like asking for a very specific kind of run that I'm going to attempt to pull off. I'm gonna go for it anyway because that's just the kind of person that I am. I am a runner. I do run pretty much every day, but I did track and field like years and years and years ago and so my form may not be like perfect. Oh, look at this dog just living his best life. <laughs> so cute. prettiest libraries I've ever seen. Like, look at this. I've never actually even been in this library because like since I moved here it's been closed but now that it's open I'm definitely gonna have to make that move. So I was wrong. I thought no one would be here but gotta remember everybody's always at Prospect Park. I've got one like three layers because I thought it was going to be a little bit colder than what it is but it's warming up pretty fast. I don't know if anybody else experiences this but my skin usually breaks out in the spring because of the pollen and stuff so whenever I'm having a good skin day y'all are going to hear about it. All right so it looks like there aren't that many people on the field so that's probably where I'm gonna end up recording. Thankfully, it's not that windy outside. So I don't have to worry about my camera toppling over because that was the issue that I had last time. We've got a yoga class going on over there. Ugh, oh, I love Brooklyn. It's always something to do. Just as I thought, it is really hard to get this video without having someone to actually like pan the camera. But I'm trying the best that I can and <laughs> yeah. And all these dogs, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to bring my dog up here guys. Like literally he's gonna have so much fun. Okay, let me get back to work. Y'all, I feel like I say this in all of my videos, but one thing that I really, really appreciate about New York is the access to all of the parks in the city. I have a couple of like favorite parks in the city, but Prospect Park is definitely in my top three parks, at least in Brooklyn. I really, really love Prospect Park and it's so big. I don't even think I've seen all of the park yet and I've been <laughs> here feels like every day in the spring and summer since I've moved up here but when it's warm out I like to just come and sit and really be intentional and just connect with nature to really just take the time to sit and be present because a lot of times when I'm out 
either on my phone, on the camera, vlogging, um, just not really paying attention to just being present and expressing gratitude for being alive and well and healthy and to be able to just sit and enjoy the sun. Right now it's empty. So it's nice to pretty much have this whole field to myself, but because it's a nice day today and I think it's gonna be raining for like the rest of the week, it's definitely gonna be packed once everyone gets off work, once the kids get out of school, this entire field will be packed. So I'm glad I got to experience it before all that happens because usually when I come, it's in the afternoon and the field is already usually packed by then. But I finished my self tape. I got what I could. Um, again, it was very difficult not having anyone record for me, but that's the life of a model, the life of someone with no friends, the life of a loner. You gotta do it yourself. So yeah, I'm done with that. I'm gonna head home. And then I'm so excited, y'all. I'm going to get a massage. My back has been killing me. Like I've always had like back problems, like back pain. Um, and at first we were like attributing it to my scoliosis was very acute but then like I started going to physical therapy and that helped for a while and then I had a mattress last year in my last apartment that just like destroyed my back so then I started going to physical therapy again and it helped and then I stopped and now um, the pain is starting to come back so I'm gonna go get a massage today and I hope that that helps I found this little cute boutique spa in Brooklyn which is great I know I told you guys that I'm going to try to start branching out more so in Brooklyn because I do spend a lot of my time in Manhattan so originally I had found a massage therapy a spa in Manhattan but you know, maybe it was the universe telling me that I need to explore more in Brooklyn, but um, they ended up having to cancel that appointment because they were having like a deep clean day or something like that. So I ended up finding one in Brooklyn, which it was probably meant to be anyway. So yeah. Oh, my dress all jacked up. I decided to walk to the spa just because it was only 30 minutes away. But y'all, this GPS is taking me like all through the woods and stuff. Granted, this is part of Prospect Park, I think. But still, like, I've never been this deep in the cut. So hopefully I'm going the right way. But, like, I'm literally in the woods. I'm recording for evidence just in case anything happens to me. Guys. But, yeah, that's the great thing about New York is that a 30-minute walk literally feels like 10 minutes in the city. Especially when it's warm outside. It's a great way to get an extra workout in. And you don't have to spend any money to get to your destination. It's a win-win. Ooh, child, this hill, oh my goodness. I'm looking too cute to be sweating outside. This is the little doggy beach. There's only one dog over here now, but like later today, this whole area will be packed with happy doggos and the water. Living their best life. Let's go. Look, look, little doggy heaven. Look at them. They're so cute. That's good. There you go. Hi. So I finally made it. Finally made my way here with like four minutes to spare. It's called Brooklyn Net Wellness. I just finished my massage guys. I went to Brooklyn Net Wellness. That was definitely one of the best massages I've ever had. Definitely in the top five massages. This was my first time getting a male masseuse. I specifically asked for a male just because I'm having a lot of tension in my back. Oh, the kids have gotten out of school and they're acting a fool. <sighs> What is going on? <laughs> Anyways, yeah, amazing massage and so cheap. It's literally the cheapest massage probably that you can find in the city. So highly recommend Brooklyn Net Wellness if you are in the city. They do take cards, so you'll either have to use the ATM for one 
dollar and fifty cent charge or pay with your card and it'll be an extra six dollars for paying with your card so the choice is yours but now I'm heading home I'm going to go take some photos for Instagram and show you guys how I do that show you guys a little bit behind the scenes and then by the time I get home and do that it'll probably be time for me to head to um little italy for a dinner reservation that i have so yeah you guys whenever i'm walking around brooklyn i always love looking at the brownstones because these are multi-million dollar homes guys like, just imagine being able to afford these bad boys like wow so before google maps was taking me all up and through the park like in some wooded areas that i had never been before but now i pretty much know where i'm going so i'm just walking along the outside streets one day i should literally just make a vlog of all the cat calls that i get while just walking looking regular regular like i could be in a hoodie and some sweatpants and i'm still gonna get cat called so one day i'm gonna make an entire compilation of what i go through it's getting colder outside so i'm gonna try to shoot these as quick as i can so I can get back in the what house. What we do here is go back, 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 back. It's getting too cold. I'm starting to sniffle, so I am going to head back home and get ready for dinner. I hate this overcoat because it makes me look so boxy. Like, look how broad the shoulders are. Like, that's not cute. But I thrifted it, and it's Jones, New York. Yeah, you just gotta make do. Temperature dropped, so I had to change my outfit, and I'm probably way overdressed. Like way too many layers right now but i do not like being cold i do not play with the cold so i'd rather be like i'd rather have too many layers on than not enough but anyways let's go to little italy <laughs> okay so now we're getting to Mulberry Street, which is like the entrance of Little Italy, I guess. It looks much better at night because the whole street is lit up, but this is it. drink y'all but the wine was good I forgot the name of the wine but it was pretty good I hope y'all can see me because I can't see me the food was great it's so cold outside so I'm trying to hurry up and get home I guess there's nothing else to see so I'm gonna go ahead and close out this vlog I hope you guys enjoyed a little sneak peek into the day oh wait no I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in New York City vlog I can't wait for it to be officially like hot hot in New York City so I can start wearing less and going out more but for now 
this will do. I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.